get some long awaited answers this morning in the case of the five year old boy whose body was found in a suitcase in southern Indiana two years ago. Today, his mother, Dejon Anderson, is, me is expected to face a judge for the first time on this side of the country. She was booked into the Washington County Jail Sunday after being on the run for years. Jim Stratman is joining us now live to go over the charges, Jim, what we could potentially expect on this really long awaited day. Yeah, lots of people have been waiting for this day for a very long time. Today is going to be an arraignment hearing, so we don't expect to get anything like official testimony today, but it will be the first time that we see Dejon Anderson inside a courtroom. Now she's charged with murder, neglect of a dependent resulting in death and obstruction of justice. Two years ago, five year old Cairo Jordan's body was found in a suitcase in the woods of Washington County, Indiana. Indiana State Police issued a warrant for Dejon Anderson's arrest and for Don Coleman's arrest. Now Coleman was arrested in October 2023 and she's pleaded guilty as part of a deal to aiding in murder, neglect of a dependent resulting in death and obstruction of justice. Anderson has been on the run for the last two years. According to Los Angeles County Jail, Anderson was arrested on March 14th and was extradited to Indiana at the end of this past month. Now, Anderson will be in court this afternoon at 1.30 for her arraignment. We do plan on having a crew there for coverage starting on WHS 11 News at 4. In the meantime, coming up the next half hour, we'll tell you what Anderson's mother had to say about the case while her daughter was still on the run. Eric, Grace. Jim, thank you. A little over a month ago, Cisco truck driver Sydney Thomas was involved in a crash that sent her dangling over the edge of the 2nd Street Bridge. Now, for the first time, we're hearing from her family as they recall that harrowing day. It's my tractor trailer is hanging over the bridge. We need people right now. Jesus, okay. It still did not dawn on me that this was possibly my daughter. Tori Carver is Sydney's mother. She was at work delivering mail for the U.S. Postal Service when she got a call saying her daughter was stuck in the cab of her semi almost 100 feet above the Ohio River. Carver said all she could do was pray and wait until Louisville firefighter Bryce Carden rappelled down and saved Sydney. My heart was breaking. There was nowhere I could go, but just tried to compose myself at that point. The only thing that got me together at that point mentally I heard her voice. She just kept telling me when I was there, she said, Mom, all I could see was death. I saw death look at me in my face. While Sydney continues her recovery from the crash, Tori and her husband have been helping take care of her four-year-old son, Mason. He's autistic and nonverbal, and care for him is a full-time job, so they haven't been able to go back to work. The family started to go fund me for bills and for building a fence in the backyard to make sure Mason can play safely. There's a link to the fundraiser in this story on WHAS11.com. Right now, one person is facing charges in connection to that crash. His name is Trevor Branham of Jeffersonville. He was charged with four counts of wanton endangerment and operating on a suspended license. Witnesses told police Branham was weaving in and out of traffic when he hit a stalled vehicle, lost control of his truck, and then hit the semi. Branham is out of jail after pleading not guilty and posting part of his bond. He's expected back in court on May 15th. This morning, we have an important reminder from Metro Police. When buying or selling items from strangers, choose your locations carefully. This comes after a woman told police that she was shot Sunday when a pretend buyer tried to rob her. The LMPD suggests using one of the four Metro swap zones inside the city instead. There are 24 hour video surveillance and it gives you a place to safely make transactions with people whom you don't know. But essentially it's providing a safer environment for people who are engaging in this online commerce to meet and where they can feel pretty secure that they are not driving up to meet someone who has ill intent. The swap zones can be found at LMPD's 2nd, 3rd, 7th, and 8th divisions.